OK. Thank you. I'm Alan Partridge. Now, in a few moments, I'll be interviewing the heavy eyebrowed pop singer Noel Gallagher. <laughs> but my first guest, he used to present the DIY programme Bob a Job. <laughs> then suddenly announced he was gay. He not only came out of the closet, he probably made it himself. <laughs> Please welcome Robert Jobson. Uh, very firm handshake. And why not? Why not? <laughs> now, Amy Allen Part is knowing you, Robert Jobson. Aha. Aha. Sausage jockey. <laughs> is, is that a term we're likely to see reclaimed by the gay community as we head towards the millennium? No. no? Okay, just, just curious. Um, is that, I know the expression queer is now acceptable in New York. Well, it, it all depends on the context, Alan. I was, I was leaving the lighthouse the other day with some uh, other volunteers and there's some lads across the road shouting, Oh, there they go, the queer bastards. <laughs> Marvellous. Marvellous. Uh, Alan, I was offended. That's the point I'm trying to make. Oh, sorry, sorry, I wasn't listening. Um, <laughs> T t tell us about your work with the Lighthouse family. Charity. <laughs> Whatever. Well, really, we're trying to work with people's state of mind, Alan, to encourage people to understand that they're living with AIDS rather than dying with AIDS. Right, keep it light. <laughs> I'm just trying to get across the point that uh, AIDS affects all of us, whether directly or indirectly. Yeah, I understand that. I'd just rather you didn't. Um, now, how do you relax? Well... I don't mean poppers. No, I... <laughs> I, I personally enjoy hand gliding. Right, is that like rimming? What? <laughs> is, is hand gliding a technique, is there sort of a, a euphemism like rimming? No, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a hobby, you know, like flying. Right, and, and, and so when you go hand gliding, <laughs> do you do that with another chap? Or? No, I do it on my own. Right. In your bedroom? No, outside. Like George Michael? Alan, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be talking about safe sex here. Uh, yeah, 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 no, you're right. Let's, let's skip straight forward to to uh, the safe sex. Let me give you a gay hypothesis. I'd just like to say, Alan, before you, before you continue, uh, AIDS isn't just a gay concern. Yeah, I know, it affects us all. <laughs> all right, anyway, anyway, here's my gay hypothesis. Let's say, for an instant, that I am a gay man. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a bar. I've been tripping the light fantastic. I'm sweating. I spot a chap, he looks at me in that way. <laughs> Within half an hour, we're back at his flat. We put on some music. I suggest Steel I Span. He wants something lighter. We compromise on Seal. <laughs> you can cut the atmosphere with a cheese knife. It's electric. The atmosphere, not the cheese knife. <laughs> his feathers are dripping. His feathers? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's dressed as a Native American. I forgot to mention that earlier. <laughs> he rips off my leather chaps. You're dressed as a cowboy. No. Um... We're, we go into the bedroom, we're going to do it. We're going to have it off. What kind of precautions can I take? Well, obviously, use a condom. OK, condom. Right? Well, let's use the street language. Um, you know, let's just say it how it is. I'm going to put a rubber johnny on my dickie. <laughs> um, you know, and, I use, and I must use a dickie jacket where, where, with a woman or with a Native American. But, but what if he says, no, I won't use a donkey, they make me lose wood. Well, I mean... <laughs> you, you really do have to insist, on. What if he threatens me with his tomahawk? Well, it, it doesn't matter, you know, you really have to insist. Uh, another thing is, when, when you're penetrating, it's uh, very, very important... I don't, I don't, I, I don't penetrate. <laughs> the only penetrating thing about me are my questions. Well... <laughs> Whatever, Alan. When you're penetrating it, it's, it's vital to use a water-based lubricant. Right, so no butter? No. <laughs> Mar Marge? No. I can't believe it's not butter? No. Um, uh, um, Pantem Pro V Plus hair conditioner. <laughs> talking about an emergency situation. No, no, no. Right, um, eye wash? No. Sunny Delight? Absolutely not. <laughs> Because they're oil-based. That's right, yeah. yes. That's Custard. Uh, what? Custard. Oh, well, if you like. Oh, right, so you can use good look. Yes. Listen, can we put up a little sort of aston at the bottom of the screen there saying, Custard, OK? <laughs> yes, Alan, it's that. very important to remember when you're having... Stop sex... talking, Robin. It's Robert. Robert, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've just heard that Noel Gallagher is in the building. Now, my next guest... Was it you can leave now? My next... <laughs> my next guest can be described as uh, a singer. Please welcome a singer, Noel Gallagher. <laughs> all right, all right. 
knowing, knowing me, Alan Partridge. <laughs> well, that's the kind of misbehaviour I'd expect from your brother. <laughs> okay, now, now, knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Noel Gallagher, aha. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coward. Edmonds. Gordon. And now Gallagher. What is it about Knowles throughout the ages that has captured the public imagination? Um, you're not the first Noel, you're not the second Noel, you're not the third, you're the fourth Noel. What, what, is, it that, what is it that links all those, those four very important people together? What's the common denominator? Well, we're all called Noel. It's as simple as that. <laughs> okay, well, we've run out of time. <laughs> Time for just one more question. One more question. Is it true you're planning a rock musical entitled Ring Ring based on the life of Alexander Graham Bell starring Darren Day? No. No. You heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Gallagher, stay there.